The reigning champs, Netherlands, are still on course for a repeat. The probability of this happening is not as high as last year when you see the way Team USA has played so far in this competition and before even thinking about potentially playing about, uh, against Team USA or Team China, who knows? You need to take down mighty Germany in less than 10 seconds. The first semifinal of the day. Are you ready? Do you have your snacks? You're sitting comfortably. Zolper gives it to Reichert. There's going to be the first call down low on Christoph with the first foul of the game. Germany with a pair of two gold medalists at the Olympics with Elysium Evius and Marie Reichert. Going for a little back pick action and Mevius decides to keep the ball and she manages to scoop it right under the arm of Van der Plaas. And right away, mismatch Cite, but Kolk missing down low. And she dribbles out when she didn't even need to. But maybe she tells me that she was looking for that. Unfortunately, she doesn't knock it down. And the ball is earned back by Team Deutschland. Poros erases Sand, goes for the mid range. She's going to be a little short. Von Christen has the advantage down low and she takes, a, she takes care of that bucket. Nice two lady action execution, but Raichet missing twice. Trying to stay with it. That's a gift right there. Lucky break for Netherlands. Sant, beautiful pass. Obviously, two people on the ball. Gets you every single time in trouble. I've said it so many times, but I'll keep on saying it until it's engraved in everybody's brain. Nice pass. Raisha this time puts the lid On Christum, it's not connect with the rim. 12 second shot clock violation. Germany last year did not medal. Germany ended up a ninth right out of the quarterfinal play. And this year, they're in the top four. Zolper, a little bit too long. Good hands. And Poros stays with it and draws. The second team foul against uh, Team Netherlands. A lot of holding. Netherlands needs to clean things up right now. Third team foul, not even two minutes gone in this game. Foul trouble is not far away if you keep up with that pace. Zolper. Is not with good take, but not enough touch. Nice. Once again, cut up, guarding the same person. Gives an easy look for Zolper. And that's going to be a, an easy layup. Van der Plaas cannot connect. The run around. Mevius. Too much sauce on that layup and mismatch action. Van der Plaas has size advantage against Zolper, but she fades away. You got to be tougher. If you want to get a bucket, Zolper is not going to let herself get back down easily. Mevius, top of the key. 
on target, just short. On Christum. And Germany caught up doing what Netherlands has been doing since the beginning of this game, which is match up poorly on pick and dive. Zolper gets the bucket. Nice seal. And you got to convert. I've seen so many misses like that from Team Netherlands all tournament long. That might be costly for them. Reichert fed, on a sp fed with a spoon by Mebius. And she enjoys the caviar. Mebius commits the foul on purpose. TV timeout. Germany leads by two. It's raining now out here. Hmm. So not only did Mr. Sun decide to uh, leave us, but Mrs. Rain came to disrupt. We don't like that. Attacking opposite of the screen on Christum. This time takes care of business. You gotta keep focus until the very end of each move you make when you play the game. Mevious, ooh, slips. And Sant connects. Mismatch down low against Poros. Euro stepping her way to the cup and drawing the foul against Von de Plas. So five apiece. So right now they are drawing out the floor a little bit. The end your court. As it rains all around, you gotta keep player safety at the center of everything. So, Mevius with the free throw. Knocks it down. 6-5, Mevius deflects it. Once again, Poros and uh, Zolper got a bit lucky. Kalk was going to be wide open. And uh, Poros tries to wrap it around. She goes for the straight shot on that pass. Got to give it a little, got to give, give a little spin. Give a little spin. Zolper lobs it up. It's not a good idea. The Dutch ladies have length. Or oh, you really got to love it high enough. Sant on target, the flat, the very flat. And Poros, beautiful dish, Reichert, nice finish. It's all about angles. It's all about space. Yes, Coke. No hesitation. Always is much better for Netherlands when they shoot without a conscience. Poros will take it all the way. She will not elevate 
high enough. The ball stuck under the rim. And uh, defensively, I'm a little bit intrigued. A little bit intrigued by uh, Germany's choice right now. Reicher coming out aggressive, but Zoper following and fighting over the screen, which means that if the pass goes through, it's a wide open layup. Zolper misses. Juan Christum, very flat. Juan Christum sees the ball deflected. Van der Plaas, one too many steps, commits the travel. Off-ball action. Reichert, center of the key. Nice finish. Germany up one. Good execution. Van Christen gets the bucket. So it's going back and forth right now. Both teams playing a similar game. And Reichert gets the offensive board. Nice touch on the glass. Back up one. And Poros will foul. Smart. Second TV timeout. Lady action. Kolk can't put the finishing touch. She put a little bit too much muscle. You gotta deposit in a soft manner. Either high above the square or in the middle. Zolper gets bumped out of the way. Multiply handoffs, Mevius. Beautiful. Once again, two Dutch ladies, Sant and Kolk, jumping on the ball. Both going at Mevius. What do you expect? She's just going to dump it off. Defensively, the Dutch ladies that are very capable of switching on everything. Good way to get open right there. Act like you're going and get away. Good court awareness from Kolk. The good pass. Poros elevates for two. She won't get it. Mismatch. Give and go. Van der Plaas. Euro stepping her way to the bucket. Got to love it. Ten apiece. And Zolper mishandles it. Turns it over. Zolper with a 31 points in this event. Van Christum always short on all her shot attempts, and that's a push in the back from Ron Christum. 15 foul against Netherlands. Kolk, 29 in, in this event before this game. Little low pass, Reichert. Gets blocked. 
Reichert with seven points so far in this game. She's responsible for 70% of Germany's scoring. You see, I'm good in math. That's going to be an unsportsmanlike foul. So two shots coming up. Sant gets the first free throw to drop. Two for two, Netherlands up, taking the lead back from Germany. Reichert, nice touch with the left. 12-11, the backdoor cut, intercepted. Zolper was not having any of it. She changes pace, gets it up high, but she misses. Sant reverses it, Kalk. No, the ball did not connect on the rim, and the ball is given back to Germany. Mevius behind the back gives it up, Reichert does not get the soft touch to go. And Poros, the foul on the ground. That's going to be two free throws. Seventh team foul. If you lose sight of the bonus, if you lose sight of foul trouble, then you get in trouble. You give an opportunity for your opponent to uh, build up a bigger lead. Behind the back, Mevius does a little bit too much. On Kristen, there you go. Capitalizing on the mismatch. Netherlands up four. Netherlands on its way to go to a second final in a row. And that's going to be a foul on the body, which is only the 16th foul for Netherlands. Only one free throw coming up. And a foul. <laughs> that could be a, a nice little break for Germany. The clock did not run down, and Mevius with a pair of free throws to cut the lead to two with 51 seconds left, which is more than enough time to get a stop, get a bucket. Mevius misses. That's a turnover. Mevius crossing, sent over. And that's going to count. The basket is good, obviously. Evenberg 
lets the scores table know. The 12 second shot clock did not reset. Thirty-seven seconds. Well, you know what the deal is. You get a stop. You get a bucket. If you get a two, it's even better. You don't want to foul neither team. Nice hands, Reichert with the steal. And Zolper lobs it up. Reichert makes it. So there is enough difference between the game clock and the shot clock. About, about six seconds, five something seconds. So it's a one point game. Sant will go all the way. She misses badly, but the ball did not touch the rim, which means that Germany gets the ball back with 5.5 seconds left in the game. Two scenarios, actually three, obviously, if Germany doesn't score, Netherlands wins, they go to the final again, you knew that, okay, that's easy, but obviously, you can tie things up, send the game to overtime, or steal the game away with a two-point dagger. What do you choose, Germany? What will you do? What will you do? Do you go for the kill shot? Do you give the ball back to Reichert in the paint, who has nine points right now? Do you go with the speed of Zolper? Boros on the sideline, which means it's either Mevius or Zolper who will have to make a decision. They're going to go to right shirt. No. Mevius. Mevius ties it. And just like that. Germany sends the game to overtime. So they went with Marvelous Mevius. Look at the footwork. Come on, guys. Come on. I'm going to say it with my New York accent. Come on. 15-15. Netherlands has the ball. Netherlands could take the game away if Kolk frees up. And here's the game winner. Kolk, top of the key, gives it up. And Von Christoph will go all the way to the cup. She misses! And uh, Zolper and Mevius kind of hesitated. They were looking at it like, you're going, I'm going, uh, who's going? And once again, not trying to be hard on the Dutch ladies, but once again, how many open looks are you going to give up? Kolk. Gives it up to Van der Plaas. No foul, obviously. You don't take the risk. You remember the rules in overtime. Whoever scores two points first wins it. Do you go for the kill shot? Zolper. Zolper gets blocked. Mevius at the right place at the right time. So now both teams need stops. Von Christum gives it to Van der Plaas for the clash. No. Mevius will let the ball go out of bounds. They're going to check it up. And who will take care of business? Who will finish things up? Who is going to lick the plate? I don't know. Let's see. Two man action. Mevius wants the ball. Mevius, mid range for history. No. Von Christum. Takes it right at Mevius. Kolk. Kolk. Gets the ball deflected. And he's going to be 1.5 seconds left on the clock. Ooh. So that means that uh, Netherlands is not going to have time to uh, go with passing game or something like that. Van Christum will have to shoot up a prayer. Van Christum. Very short. All right. I'd give the ball to Reichert. I'd give the ball to Maddie. Zolper tries to take it all the way, and she sees the ball deflected. 
I would give the ball to Reichert. Zolper turning it over. Either team can win with a simple bucket. Von Christen. Hello. Von Christen misses again. Von Christen not again. They go to the final. Netherlands back to back U23 World Finals. Germany will have a chance for a medal. They will have a chance for bronze. Whoever loses in the second semi between Team USA and China will meet up with the German ladies.